Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are we should call these couch chats. Welcome to another couch chat. I am Jamie, the J and J loves, where I share all the things I love because if I love it, maybe you'll love it too. And this is Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie and yesterday we shared about making sure that we are all dreaming super big right and tomorrow I want to do a back-to-back -back video I want to do a video on um, I don't know what it's gonna be called yet but something regarding like the people or emotions that you do not want to listen to if and when you're in a position where you're trying to dream big or do different things uh, because that's a roadblock that a lot of people get into is like listening or just being negatively influenced on accident and a lot of times by loved ones so sometimes the closest people that actually love us the most are can be sometimes the ones who discourage us <laughs> accidentally the most um, because they're trying to protect us but we'll get into that and then the day after that I'll likely do a video on who and what you should listen to when you're in a position that you're 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 trying to grow but today's video we just want to make our chat couch couch chat um, is uh, is following up to yesterday's because one thing that I want to be Natalie and I want to both be really cautious of is talking about dreaming big but making sure that people understand what we think that is right because yes we absolutely think that everyone should dream super super big and and what big means is going to mean so many different things to every single person like literally, you know, for one person living in New York City in a penthouse, you know, wearing suits and ties or beautiful gowns is like the top of the world. And to another person that is their worst nightmare and their dream is to travel the world and visit, you know, um, different countries and to help and to give back in, in all kinds of different cultures. Those are completely different. and. That's why I think like one of the biggest things that I've had to learn these last three years and what I think everyone needs to do for themselves is really get in super touch with yourself. I at almost now 43 uh, in a couple of weeks it had, did not ha take the time or maybe I didn't feel I had the time but the truth of the matter is I didn't even know that I should take the time which is something I didn't think about of truly learning who I am, what I love, what do I want? Like I literally just did not do that and that's I think pretty common, right? It's just who grows up thinking about what they really like? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure there's plenty of families and people but I just don't know any <laughs> that often um, and so it's this is our time now this is our time I believe that everything happens for a reason and we might even have some of this this time now because we're not commuting as much you know to really dive into what we really want out of life and so basically um, you know in short I want the we want the dreaming big to be big for you and that can mean anything and do you want to elaborate on that and what we mean by that mm, I don't really know how to explain it but like dream big don't just dream like like try not to make a dream that you think other people want to hear like oh I want to end world hunger like don't we all but maybe we, we can say while you're doing that where do you want to live like what do you want to do what do you want your job to be you don't have to be famous, you don't have to change the entire world because you know, you change people's worlds, change animals' worlds, that's not changing the world, you're just changing the world for individuals and everybody does that, you know, hopefully in a positive way every day. So you don't have to worry about making your goal something like crazy like ending world hunger or whatever it is because while you're working at that, you still gotta live somewhere, you still gotta maybe, I don't know, do other things, hang out with people, where do you go, what do you eat for lunch? All that kind of stuff, dream big in the sense that don't limit yourself, but make it exactly what you want. Exactly. Yeah, so, and, you know, Sadguru talks about this a lot, and Natalie does too, that it's, you know, all of these things in our world that we would love to 
you know, we'd love probably, most of us want to contribute in humongous ways, right? But the truth of the matter is, unless or until we can get right within ourselves, we're not going to be that helpful to others, right? So you may want to like make, you know, as many people as you want happy, right? But have you made yourself happy first? That is first and foremost because how can you, how can we save the world? How can we make these big changes if we haven't yet gotten control of our own emotions, our own, you know, feel in control of our own lives, you know, um, and, and things of that nature. So, you know, with it's it's more about dreaming your big dream and literally that can literally mean a cottage in the middle of nowhere where you get to learn about life and learn about nature and you know maybe you share with the the animals that live there you know or or you share on YouTube your findings when living out in nature i mean it's literally like not everybody most people actually would never want to be a superstar you know uh, you know these young girls sometimes young girls think that they want to be a beyonce and they want to be a kardashian and when it when they if they actually thought about it you know they would not they don't don't envy that life you we probably have zero idea of what it means to be them and i can tell you right now for a lot of girls that i know if you told them that they had to sit in a chair and get their makeup and hair done for four hours they would have a fit now again some people that is their dream they absolutely love it and it would be amazing to do that and to get photographed and to whatever whatever but for a lot of people they would hate that they would hate to go out on the street and have paparazzi or people taking their pictures catching them digging in their nose or whatever craziness like it's definitely do not envy lives that you see you have no idea what they're really like and honestly if you if a lot of times if we really took the time to truly think about it and and try to live in that life you might not want what you're thinking of the most important thing to do is for everybody to figure out the ways to learn who they are what they love what makes them happy and I'll tell you one of the biggest ways that I've done that was through the Marie Kondo process. I've talked about a little bit about that plenty of times in the videos, but you can look her up, uh, Marie Kondo and the KonMari method. It's um, she's got several best-selling books, um, but Spark Joy is one of them. And um, I'm going to be sharing a lot about that in March. So just you know, um, stay tuned or, or watch if you're interested in that. But again, the most important thing is really us learning who we are. This is a process, you know, this is going to take a long time. It, I, I don't know anyone that would have dove as deep as I did, right, these last three or four years as me. I, I really just don't. I, I, there might be like one or two, but I don't know too many people that would have taken the time, the energy, and the money and the commitment and literally go right, go broke doing it right go broke doing it go go into a devastating place to do all this work and so when i've done that and it still took years you know hopefully me sharing with people it you know the thing is you learn and then you can start cutting out you know the best parts so that you can share so that's what i'm going to trying to do and i would say that but if you're someone who is dreaming of you know, being in a happy, productive, excited place, again, 70 to 90%, if not more, of your day of feeling truly alive, then, you know, do that work. Do the hard work. Do not ignore. Do not try to, you know, push it down by looking for love in external places and things like that. Like, just do the work. It is so worth it. You're going to love it at the end and you're gonna love it during too it's just gonna be painful <laughs> I guess that's what they call uh, an awakening was it not is it an awakening or um, yeah. something like that yeah and I knew that that's what I was kind of going through but it wasn't until I really understood the definition that somebody a friend of ours just said oh yeah I think you went through this process and it really really is um, truly amazing so any other thoughts or words about, yeah, so this video I think we'll call, call it like dream, dream your dream. And uh, our great friend Shahana at kumaforlife.com, please check that out if you, if you want to have fun and get soulfully dancing and exercising. It is so much fun. Kuma for life, K-U-U-M-A, 
F-O-R-L-I-F-E.com. And Shahana always says that, to do you. Um, so I guess that's all, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make her watch Total Recall tonight, so we're gonna edit this video, get it uploaded, and and let's see if she likes Total Recall. Because all this Mars talk is making me want her to watch Total Recall. We watched it like a thousand times when I was a kid, so. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, say bye, Missy. Bye, love you guys. Mwah.